Hey everyone, it's Riley. Welcome back to my channel for my April plan with me video. As you can see, I'm using the clay color journal from my Etsy shop at the moment. And of course, I'm going to have links to all those things down in the description, as well as links to my supplies. Now, supplies for this month are quite minimal as they usually are. Basically, I'm using these three Tombow markers and um, I should have had them here in front of me, but I don't. And I don't remember the numbers because these are not ones that I use regularly, except the yellow, that one's 026 or like the kind of golden color. Um, but I can't recall the green or the red. So I'll try to put those color numbers down in the description. And you can find Tombow markers basically anywhere that sells stationery. I know my local like Michaels has them, but they are a better price, at least for me here in Canada, they're a better price getting them off of Stationery Pal. So I'm gonna have a discount code for Stationery Pal down in the description in case you are interested in that. Um, so yeah, I'm starting off with those leaves as you saw, and this month I'm doing a really fun kind of, what would you call it, like abstract, almost retro looking, but I don't know if that's the right word, but they're definitely abstract flowers. And I got this idea from a pin on Pinterest, actually kind of a few, but mostly one of them was more like the direct inspiration for this. So I'm going to have that pin linked down below. And I know I mentioned this in my March plan with me video as well, but Pinterest is such a great place to go for inspiration. But I feel like the mistake that lots of people make when they go search Pinterest for bullet journal inspiration is that they search other bullet journal themes or other bullet journal spreads. Um, whereas I like to search just random things or just like scroll, honestly. So you might be inspired by like um, some kind of pattern on fabric. I've been inspired by like um, home decor, digital art posters, um, just like random things. So that's where I found this inspiration. And um, as you can see, I've got the washi tape around just to kind of keep my edges crisp. You can see the leaves kind of went like out of bounds, but just I made sure that they were cut off at the washi tape mark. But if you don't have extra washi tape kicking around that you can use for a border like this, don't worry about it. Just decide which line or which dot is gonna be your cutoff and stick to it. If you wanna outline it in pencil and then erase it later, that's fine. Or honestly, when I'm not doing this like for a video, when I was just doing kind of the practice round of this, um, I just didn't use tape. I just kind of eyeballed, picked a line in my journal and made sure that nothing went beyond that line. So this is the cover page. And I must say, this is my favorite theme that I have so far in this journal. And so far, I quite like all of my themes. Um, well, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of January. In January, I got off to a really late start because this journal arrived late. It arrived while I was away for my Christmas um, kind of holiday with my family. So I didn't actually get back here and get my journal and start using it until like early to mid January, um, which is, I hate <laughs> running behind. So I just picked like a really quick theme, used some stamps, which were from Journal Say. I love those stamps, um, but I'm just not a huge fan of those like super quick and simple themes. I mean, I like my themes to be quick but not just like stamping something on and not even putting any effort into doodles. So anyways, January wasn't a huge fan of February. I'm gonna link that one here because that is, that one would be neck and neck with this April theme. I did these really cute little um, dinosaurs with kind of muted colors. And um, I've done dinosaurs for a few years now in February. And I really love how this year's turned out. It's my favorite dinosaur theme that I've ever done. One of my favorite themes in this journal. And then March, obviously the most recent month, I did a little sort of beehive um, mobile is what it was inspired by, like a baby mobile. And um, so yeah, you can find all of those videos on my channel. And all of them are very doable, like this one. As you can see, um, it's really nothing complicated. You're just doing oblong petals with stems and coloring them in very very easy and i will say this bible verse page over to the left love the verse do not love how this page turned out if you know me i'm not really much of a planner when it comes to how i'm going to set up my bullet journal i am a huge planner and that's why i have a bullet journal um, but i don't really plan exactly what my pages are going to look like i typically plan out exactly what i want the cover page to look like but aside from that i just decide what kind of pages i want to have so this month i decided to have a verse page but i put zero thought before sitting down and filming into what that page was going to look like and oftentimes 
things still turn out well for me when I don't really plan them like that and I like it. I don't really like spending tons and tons of time on my journal because for me that would defeat the purpose. My journal is meant to make me more efficient and more productive, not like slow me down, you know what I mean? So I don't spend a ton of time planning and in this case with that Bible verse page that you saw previously, um, I was not a fan. Could have mapped that one out better. I feel like there were so many different ways that I could have used this theme that would have looked nicer, but honestly, my son was in a nap. I wanted to get as much done as I could. I just picked the first idea that popped into my head and it was not the best one. So if you're doing some kind of quote page or something like that, if I were to do it again, I would use that kind of funky font for like all the words and just fill the page, like big words and then fill all of the edges with those fun abstract floral designs. I feel like that little would have looked really cool. And that's more or less what I did for the headings in the rest of this month. So as you can see, I've got my calendar spread here and um, spacing wise, this is exactly the same as what I always do. Five dot grid spaces wide, six tall. Um, coloring wise, this is quite a bit different than normal. I don't often use a black outline, but I did this time. I just used the thin end of a Tombow marker to make the border around the calendar. And then I used a size zero one fine liner to draw the inner lines on it. And um, now I'm just filling the top with those flowers and a title that says April. And I started off just doing this in the top on the left page. Um, but I ended up deciding to fill like all of the empty space and I just saved it for my son's nap the next day to do those spreads or those doodles. So here's the calendar page coming together and I will say I feel a bit weird about it being April already um, and mostly because I feel like April last year my life basically just shut down for the month and for several months after that and um, if you were around watching my channel at that time you may remember I I went for an ultrasound on it was April 4th so like right at the beginning of the month and basically I got sent home from that ultrasound being told like go lie down and do not get up unless it's absolutely necessary until you get a call from the specialist um, so basically I went into the doctor feeling totally normal, everything was fine, and then I came back and suddenly I was bedridden and it stayed that way for the next three and a half months. Um, so yeah, April, it just feels weird that I'm already back there to April. Um, but obviously this year is much, much different. Instead of having a complicated pregnancy, I'm here with a healthy, happy baby and I could not be more thankful for that. And I remember at the time, I hadn't even shared on my channel that I was gonna have a baby, so I kind of just vanished for a few weeks and then came back saying, surprise, I'm having a baby. And also, I won't be making much content in the near future because I was confined to my bed. So I'm very glad that that April is behind us. It was honestly such a stressful um, and difficult time. Um, so yeah. That's April for me. How are you guys feeling about April? Um, I know here where I am in Canada, April is gonna be more the start of spring for us. In March, we've had some days and weeks here and there with nice-ish weather, but I mean, there's still snow on the ground. Every time I wanna take my son out for a walk, I still have to bundle him up in his snowsuit, which he absolutely hates. And so I'm just really excited for the warm weather to come so that we can just go outside without having to, you know, plan ahead and spend 10 minutes wrestling him into his snowsuit while he screams the whole time. So that will be a big relief. So like I said, I am filling all of this bottom part here. And if you're doing a similar theme to mine, first of all, I would love it if you would share that. Um, you can tag me on Instagram. My Instagram account is going to be linked down below as well as my TikTok. I have been doing some TikToks um, recently, but I'm not super consistent with that. So yeah, if you decide to recreate this, please do tag me. And of course, I feel like a theme like this would also be fun if you did like a few different colors of flowers or even a few different types of flowers or different like types of leaves, you know, like some bigger, some smaller or a different green to symbolize that there are different leaves. There are lots of ways that you could take this theme and make it a bit more diverse. Personally, I really, really love the colors that I went with this month. They are much more like bold than what I normally do. I normally gravitate 
really strongly towards the muted colors. So this like bold green and bold red don't really fit with my typical color palette, but I'm really, really loving how they turned out in this theme. So we've moved on as you can see, and you know, lots of months I've been stopping my setup um, with just like kind of two pages, like the cover page plus tasks and then a calendar page. But this month, obviously I added in that Bible verse. And so now I had to fit my tasks page somewhere else. So my tasks page is here on the left, split into categories for work and home. And then over on the right, I have habit trackers and I never use habit trackers. Um, I just randomly decided to try it this month because there are a lot of things that I try to do on a daily basis that I track just I track them just in my daily spread you know like I write down the things every day like going for a walk um, doing my physio exercises um, whatever I'm trying to think of other things there are other things um, that I try to do daily and I just mark them down in my daily spreads this month I'm going to see if I like having a habit tracker I haven't done this in ages. If anything, I do a weekly habit tracker because I really don't flip back to my beginning of the month spreads very often. I usually refer to them basically just at the beginning of each week. I'll come and consult the calendar, see what events are coming up that week. I'll come consult my task list, see which one of those tasks I'm going to um, try to accomplish that week. But that's about it. Other than that, I never flip back to my monthly spreads, which is why a monthly habit tracker like this doesn't normally work for me. So I will try to update you guys next month um, about how that worked and whether or not I decide to do this again. So as you saw, I did this same kind of font, but quite large over on the tasks page. And now here I've got a smaller variation for the habit tracker. And I must say, I like the habit tracker page better um, than kind of the large writing that I use on the tasks page. And this will be the last page here of my setup. I would love to hear from all of you down in the comments. Um, which monthly pages do you use? Do you ever change things up? Like I am this month trying a habit tracker or do you kind of have your, your tried and true pages that you use every single month and will never stray from? Let me know that down in the comments. Now let's do a flip through here. So we've got our title page with the Bible verse, a calendar, and then our tasks and habit tracker for the month. <laughs> 